this continuum on this pride right here, up and down, and down, going over this hand bone. So notice now, I'm not grabbing the wrist, because when I'm on the wrist, the guy can easily circle it out. I want to be on his hand. Full control right there. So come back up. Knee the hands, right here. Going up and down. Then driving over the top of that hand. Once I get to right here, I want my shoulder pressure in the back of his shoulder. Pulling that out, or we're talking about. It's right there. Guys, again, we have to stay on our toes this whole time. You can't be lazy to be on one knee right here. It's not going to work. We need this guy to constantly feel our pressure, so he can't even think about getting out. He's got to think about just getting this, uh, our pressure off of him. So I'm going to bump in. Driving, driving, driving. Pressure over the hand. Come out. Shoulder to the spine. Notice how my shoulder right now is literally on the back of his shoulder. And I'm still driving in. My pressure is not let up. If I try to let off my pressure right here, he comes back to his knees. That's all for nothing. So even once I get him flat, I am still focused on just driving into him. I want him to feel my whole weight the entire time. From before the whistle starts, till I get him flat, till I get that arm in the back, he's got to feel the full extent of my weight the entire time. So him, running on those toes, really utilizing this pry here. This pry is pushing out on that thigh the entire time. Shoulder in the back, putting his shoulder, putting it on top, getting right there. Simple enough, right? Questions? All right, on two. One, two.